Hey guys, welcome back to 104 Days of Bootubot. I can't see myself in this camera, as this camera is the old camera. And I have the new camera down here, pointed at my drawings, because I was thinking maybe it would be better quality for the drawings and it would do them justice, you know what I mean? So I'm on the shitty camera. <laughs> it's not that bad of a camera, it's actually a good camera. And welcome back to 104, this is day 56, right? I, don't, I forgot what day it was. Man, it's going by quickly though, isn't it? Make sure you leave in the comments what you want for the next up-to-date videos. I, I keep forgetting to say that in the in the videos recently, but make sure you flood the comments in any of the videos right here with what you want to see for the next up-to-date videos. These are those up-to-date videos are left to you, and those are those ideas come from you guys. And welcome to a video that is quite possible to open up a new chapter in my life. Uh, these, I'm gonna show you guys drawings that I did when I was a child and I made stories when I was a child. I made this one story, I wasn't finished with it, I made it too long for myself. That The, the story, it was too long and I only wrote like the first book myself and I started on the second one and I had like an outline for the rest of everything else and yeah I think we'll see some drawings of, of those characters uh, soon I drew a lot of Dragon Ball and I drew a lot of anime but there are some drawings that are really good really good dude yeah and I wanted to wear a hoodie this video but I was like no, I I'm comfortable though but I, I wanted to wear a hoodie because I, I feel like I'm insecure about my body. Okay, here's the first one. Oh, oh, it looks like it's a. It looks like it's a. It's a uh, stop motion. It looks like it's an animation. Oh shit! What does he run on? Oh, oh wow! Oh, and I started drawing an uh, optical illusion right there. Wow, wow, that was sick. Yeah, I did a bunch of animation stuff, but it was only like stick figures and all that. It wasn't anything major. Oh, and this one was drawn 7-4-2016. Look at that. What the hell, dude? Wow. I was always like pretty decent at drawing all my life, all my life, thanks to my Uncle Bobby. Oh, this is the first character. His name was Zade. His name is Zade. It's pretty good. On this one and the mouse one, I was like experimenting with like charcoal and like the charcoal scrub and pens and markers and everything and everything, including including just regular old graphite pencils or whatever. And look, I started drawing with I started drawing with a freaking pen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I meant to have a story right here. I always I always took inspiration from other artists and drawing like comic booky kind of stuff. I think the inspiration for for the nerdy guy right here was SpongeBob, <laughs> I think. <laughs> SpongeBob but human form. And the superhero guy was like was like the Adam West of Fairly Odd Parents. You know that? Oh yeah, this book at first was meant to be like a comic book, but I realized how hard it was to do it. And this was like this was the uh, story that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. As you can see, it is heavily inspired by Dragon Ball Z. I didn't know about copyright stuff back in the day when I was nine and 10 years old. Look at that. And then I think this is where it stopped. It looks like a decent comic book though. Like see with the 10 years later right there? It looks like it would be a decent comic book to be honest. It was just a matter of sticking to it and keeping at it, you know what I mean? That seems to be the matter for everything all the time. Shut up, clock. It was like, it was so fun. It was like almost addicting. Whenever you would get a good drawing going and it, it would look like, it would look good. Like it was almost addicting because you wanted to keep it going and everything. Oh shit, and this is one of the villains from the story. His name is Cancel. We'll get it. Cancel. He has like multiple transformation forms to him and he gave the the fighters in my story a rough time oh and here's a dragon ball z drawing of kid boo this one was one of my favorites whenever i finished it i would even put in like effort into my signatures and naming who the character was oh this is this is broly <laughs> but 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 this one isn't that good this one's one of the old ones as you can see in 2011 at the top. See right there? 8-3-2011. Uh, 
in August of 2011. Jesus Christ. Broski, look at this. Look at this. Not to toot my own horn, but I think that this, in 2011, June 4th, 2011, this is better than most people at that age, dude. Bro, I knew how, I knew how to draw shapes in 3D, bro. And most people didn't. Most people struggled with keeping up with like, like the correct perspective and proportions and all that. Oh, this is one of the most like strongest villains in the story that I'm talking about. His name is Venus. I didn't put the date on this one, sadly. I kind of put some color in there. And he's inspired by Lord Frieza. <laughs> Before anybody tries to say anything, I already know. Oh yeah, dude, I loved drawing. I still do, what the heck am I talking about? But yeah, th this ho there's a whole story to like all of the characters that I would work on. But this is Goten. Dude, if that was an animation, that would be pretty decent, dude. Um, anyway, but yeah, guys, if you want to see like those, ca th that story, like I would work on that every day. Like I would work on that as much as I would work on YouTube videos. And then I found YouTube and then I fell in love with that and I started with this. But yeah, I, I think I want to get back into the those stories that I would do, especially that one with those fighters and all that stuff. I think it could rise in popularity somehow, someday. But uh, just with the right motivation, I guess. Look, here's Goku and Kaioken. This one I think is the closest to any kind of like proportion than anything, except for the neck. I think the neck's a little bit too much, but here's another one, here's Vegeta. I couldn't do Go I couldn't do Goku and not do Vegeta, you know? It's just all crazy, dude, oh my god. Oh, and here's a phoenix, I'm pretty sure this picture is somewhere. Look at the freaking font, though. Look at the typography. That's sick in, it, in itself, but look at the, look at the phoenix. It's so cool, dude. And I would be drawing and drawing at family members' houses and all that stuff, and and they would like see me start, and then I would get I would get into it for a few minutes, and then they would come back later, and then see that I have something that's like freaking, freaking like impressive as this shit, dude. Like, dude, this one is one of my favorites. I, I'm just remembering it. Like, the face is kind of, eh, it could, it could be fixed, but, like, everything else, dude, working on all of those, um, those shading and lighting and the value and the drawing, it, it's just everything. <laughs> and then there's this one. Yeah, I drew this one during an uh, old Q&A video that's not up on YouTube anymore, I don't think. And, yeah, that was that book. Let's go on to another book. This one is called Advanced Book, I think. Oh, yeah, I've showed these on stream before, I think. And also a very old YouTube video. Here's Old Yeller. <laughs> yep, and moving on. <laughs> oh, this one is one of the top five. I don't even care. Gogeta from Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. Or Revival Fusion. This one is one of the uh, first and kind of only drawings that I put this much effort into not only doing like shading and value, but also putting shading and value in color at the same time. And here's Lord Bills, Beerus, as everybody knows him by, but at first I think they were gonna call him Bills at first, dude. Look, oh, just the arm, just this part, just the profile. It's good. I'm just realizing it, looking into the camera, that his shoulders are different sizes, I think. Just the line work on most of these. Man, I don't draw nearly as much as I, I don't draw as, as much right now as, nearly as much as I used to, whatever. <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Goku, this is one of my favorites too, because I tried to do the same thing that I did with, um, the Gogeta one. But color-wise, oh man, look at the, look at the torso, bruh. This, this part right here, with that shading. Oh, dude. That was in 2013. I got so much better in that amount of time, from 2011 to 2013. I kept at it for that long, and look how good I got. Yeah, this one's proportions is obviously not that good. It's not as good as everything else, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna work on the shading and color and everything. It's Super Saiyan God Goku. It's pretty good. Look at the bottom, though. Like, don't look at anything else, but look at the bottom right here. If I cut it off like this, it looks like it's gonna be a very cool drawing, and then you just see that little nub of the fists and everything. Or, I can do it like this, and just have cut it off right there, and it'd be freaking OP. As you can see, I was learning. I was still learning. 
but I was getting good at it. I was getting quite good at it. Oh, and here's the character Zade again, our favorite. I tried doing him, drawing him in different styles. This one is obviously the real one, and these other ones are like little chibis. Furious Zade and Rage Zade. It's pretty cool, man. New Year's Eve. Wow. 2013. Almost 2014. And this is a villain. What's his name? I forgot. I want to say Antimatter. There was a, there was a villain called Antimatter. Or is his name Abound? I think his name was Abound. The top one, right? And these are chibi versions of him. This one, I think... I think in all of these, I was trying to find like a good design for him. You feel me? But the top one, I think I settled on that. I think I should add some horns on the on that one on the top right there. And yeah, this is this is the name of the the cartoon, by the way, Ong Aki. There wasn't a meaning to any of the names that I gave to any of these people, <laughs> or the title of anything. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. Let's go with it. This one was put a lot a lot of effort was put into this one, and it's on a freaking loose leaf. Ah, oh. look at it. Can you tell what it is? He's looking at his hands, and then there's ruins and a, the clouds with the sun rays at the top. Yeah, it's it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. That that's that's Zade because there's a Z on his belt buckle. That's Zade, but like in a very high transformation form. I think it was called what's it called? Legendary Solar. Legendary Solar form. I loved drawing, dude. Oh my god. And this one was drawn in 2017. A lot of my stuff turned into more minimalistic kind of stuff, but. That doesn't mean I can't draw like I used to. I can still draw like I used to. Oh, here's an Audrey Hepburn one. I loved this one. This one was so cool. Like I said, experimenting with very dark colors and stuff. And the face doesn't look bad. I was getting everything down pat, dude. Uh-oh, I forgot to put this one back in. I don't know which one it was in, but... Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is Zade, but in fancy clothes at, like, a dinner thing. <laughs> and the proportions are pretty decent too, so yeah, pretty decent. There's just no like shading or value in it. It's just, you know, that, which is fine. It's quite all right. Oh my God. I think there are some good ones in here. This one has the most like long anky pictures drawn in it. There's also a binder that I can go through one day. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you this one. I remember this. Was this around Christmas? Oh no, it was around summer, shit, okay. Well, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, this is Zade, obviously, right? Versus a villain. See, he's in purple, like in all the corners. The That villain's name was Remote, and Remote was one of the hardest, like, villains that the fighters had to face, that they, that they faced. Oh, here's a good one, wow, what the heck? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. That's Remote. And that's Zade in like a different form. And look at the landscape, dude. I'd be working on landscapes, what the fuck? Oh, and here's the whole team. This was in 2012. This was in 2012, but here's like the whole team at one point, right? Yeah. There was a, like many, many, many character designs that I had and that I decided on. I decided to make them all look like real, like actual people and not like the rat-like people that I kind of started to decide on whenever I first started drawing them and writing about it. So thank God I decided to keep it at like real. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. This one was like in a transition, I guess, I don't know. But this was like between like, I don't know, soft, cuddly person to real people. This was like in the middle of it, I think. It's so cool, the, the cocky attitude of some of these drawings, bro. I'm telling you. I think that's all that I feel like showing, to be honest. If I find anything else, or if I want to expand on any of the story publicly, then I will tell you. I will tell you everything. Let me see if I'm still recording. Thank God. Oh my God. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. I think that'll be it for me. I have an entire binder filled with even more pictures of Ong Aki stuff. But uh, this was my old drawings from my childhood. I plan on making this a little bit of a series, kind of. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out, and it'll be kind of cool. If I don't, then things just worked out a different way. Like I say in another video somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Tell a friend about 104. <clears throat> okay.
<laughs> I forgot to say, as well as telling me what ideas you want for the next up-to-date videos, let me know which drawing you thought was the coolest or which one you thought was the best. Put the timestamp in the comments of this video. I, I really want to know because uh, a lot of people liked my drawings when I was younger and they do like them now. You guys seen the bunny that I did uh, recently or a long months ago uh, since 104 came out. <laughs> You know, later. But you know, you guys know about the bunny, the Ophelia that I probably finished. Right now, I didn't finish it. But yeah, let me know which one you like the most in the comments below. Because re I'm really curious. I really am. <laughs> Beep Tweebot.